السلام عليكم This is a statement written by the awaited Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad Al-Yamani that he wrote on the 3rd of May 2021 titled Indeed the calamity of the corona war and the climate war shall intensify This statement is recited to you by one of his supporters In the name of Allah no power except with Allah the most high the most great Indeed, we belong to Allah, and indeed to Him we will return. All Muslims, how many times did I advise you along with people altogether for the last 16 years and call you to worship Allah alone, no partner has He? Also, I gave you a ruling with truth to believe that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, no partner has He, and that the illiterate Prophet Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, with the great Quran is a mercy to the words. So why do you refuse the guidance and mercy of Allah? I swear by Allah who there is no God worthy of worship except Him, that I do not know of any solution for what you are experiencing of Allah's climatic war and Allah's global war through His minor soldiers that are mentioned in the book. These are the so-called Corona strains, that are not corona and you will never be able to defeat them until you are able to stop the climatic, aerial, aquatic and terrestrial wars of Allah. Perhaps all the leaders of the countries of mankind would like to say, we can turn down the so-called climatic war of Allah for reducing the greenhouse gas exhausts emitting from our factories. Since they have caused a defect in the Earth's climate due to the global warming in the upper layer of the Earth's atmosphere, which led to the Earth's global warming. Hence, the Earth has been suffering from a thermal fever, and we want to heal planet Earth from the global warming phenomenon. Then the awaited Mahdi, whom Allah has chosen to be a scale of on the words, replies to you and says, O leaders of mankind, along with their peoples, I swear by Allah who there is no God other than Him, that if you were to stop the exhaust of your factories, cars, steamships and trains, along with the exhaust of your firewoods, and if you were to completely stop your wheel of life for 1,000 years, if Allah granted you life, Allah would never lessen His climatic war on you. As the global warming theory is a fabricated theory, and the truth is that it is happening due to the approach of the planet of torment in its attraction with the sun. And the sun's furnace has burst, and has affected the moon, the earth, and its climate. Also, you will not be able to control the global war of the gnat, and I shall make it short for you, if you were able to confront the war of the minor soldiers of Allah in the book, this is when you would be able to stop the war of the heavens and the earth. Given that I am the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad, the man whom Allah taught the true clarification of the great Quran, I will say, all decision makers among the leaders of mankind, if Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani were an insolent liar in regards to Allah choosing him as his caliph on the words, then it would be to my own loss, and what I have promised you with shall not befall you. However, if Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani were truly the caliph of Allah on the words, then all decision makers among the leaders of mankind know that you do not have the right of veto on the decision of the command of Allah the one the overpowering. Glorified and sublimely highly exalted is he, and he does not share his decision with anyone. Surely you will not find any refuge to hide in other than with him, and no one shall protect you from the torment of Allah. And here I am, the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad. I announce by the command of Allah that Allah will open for you a gate of severe torment in addition to picking up the level of Allah's climatic war and that is not far from happening and every stubborn disbeliever is doomed. Perhaps all the senior decision makers among the leaders of mankind would like to say, and what is it? Tell us so we are ready to confront it. Hence the Imam Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al-Yamani replies to you and says, you did not even ward yourselves off the lion-like soldier among the soldiers of Allah 
that is the so-called coronavirus, which is not corona, but firm planning from Allah. So how would you prevent the firm planning from the Lord of the Words? That is a gift from Allah, the one, the overpowering, that targets decision makers in particular and evildoers in general. Those who were rebellious to Allah in the lands and made therein much corruption, filling the earth with oppression and tyranny. Unfortunately, the sudden death calamity has arrived and it shall kill you while you are standing, sitting and lying on your sides and on air live in front of the camera. And all doctors did not say it happened out of a stroke, but they and their like were killed by the lion-like virus. That is firm planning from Allah. That is what Allah has promised you within the clear verses of His book, the Great Qur'an, in the verse where Allah addressed His Caliph Al-Mahdi, Nasir Muhammad Al-Yamani, after 15 years had passed of the global Mahdi's da'wah to take the book of Allah, the Great Qur'an, for judgment and to follow it. But the arrogant non-Muslim and Muslim decision-makers turned away. As a result, a command was issued to the Caliph of Allah despite Allah knowing in the word of Allah the Exalted, So leave me to deal with him? Who denies this discourse? We will progressively lead them from where they do not know. For behold, though I may give them rain for a while, indeed my plan is firm. Surah 68 verses 44-45 All Decision Makers what the awaited Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani has challenged the World Health Organization along with the virologists among the White Coat Army in the words to discover the origin of Corona that Allah has invaded them with from where they do not know is not just an assumption out of my own accord, but that was the address to the Caliph of Allah al-Mahdi in the clear verses of the book, the Great Quran, to leave you to him by the power and strength of Allah to declare a global war upon you through the minor of his soldiers in the book, from where they do not know its source and origin. In line with the word of Allah the Exalted, to so leave me to deal with him who denies this discourse, we will progressively lead them from where they do not know. For behold, though I may give them rain for a while, Indeed, my plan is firm. Surah 68 verses 44 to 45 So have you found the origin of the so-called coronavirus yet? Bring your proof if you are truthful. Or you want to bring together a new plan to turn people away from believing the verses about Allah's torment? Far, far is that from being the truth. But the time for the intense planning from Allah, the Almighty, the praiseworthy has come. Nevertheless, it unfortunately does not have except for only one symptom. That is the death to whoever it befalls. All you who are arrogant towards Allah and his caliph al-Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al-Yamani, dig your graves and prepare your coffins and say goodbye to your families and your loved ones. Indeed, Allah did not do injustice to you, but you have wronged yourselves along with many of those who are atheists among the Waikur army, to whom it is as if Allah is nothing yet to be mentioned, and they have delayed mankind to humbly supplicate to Allah the One, the Overpowering, to remove his torments from them, to follow the caller of Allah, and his book, the Great Quran. Also, I shall say to the wicked astronomers in the words, Prepare your coffins and dig your graves as you have been entered into the misfortune of the torment of Allah. Especially those who knew with knowledge of certainty that the sun has truly caught up with the moon in the beginning of the month of Ramadan. And they saw and videotaped it with their CCD cameras. So they knew that the waxing crescent of the month really started to set before sunset. While it follows it running towards the sun, in the alignment of the sun, moon, earth occurred while the moon is already in a waxing crescent phase and not in a waning crescent phase. 
and they know that the waxing crescent is in the state of Idraq and the alignment of the sun-moon-earth occurred while the moon is already in a waxing crescent phase. Like what is going to happen to the waxing crescent of the month of Shawwal after the sensitive Tuesday, which is the night of Wednesday. If Allah pleased to give you life until you see the greatest full moon of Shawwal starting from its rise according to the official time of Mecca after the sunset of Tuesday, which is the night of Wednesday, rising like a full moon in all countries. And I know and understand what I am saying in regards to the greatest idrak at the end of the month of the night of Al-Qadr by the calculations of the worth of one night on the moon. Doesn't its night and day follow in succession before your eyes on the face of the moon? And don't you see the moon rising like a full moon in midday according to the calculations of the worth of one day on the moon? That is the midday of the day on the moon that resembles the night of the middle of the month according to the calculations of one day on the earth, which is the night of the 15th. And because the sun has caught up with the moon, the new moon occurs ahead of its time. Also, the waxing crescent of the month is born ahead of its time. As a result, the alignment of the sun, moon, earth occurs while the moon is already in a waxing crescent phase. And here has come the command of Allah of Al-Mubahala, the general invocation for the curse of Allah to be upon the liars, so that Allah judges between me and you. And I have been ordered not to argue with you in the Idraq sign after the occurring of the waxing crescent of the first of the forbidden month in the book, that is the waxing crescent of Shawwal. Unfortunately, the command of Al-Mubahala has come this time for mankind in general, to all who reached the rectitude, males and females, and to all whom Allah did not take away their sight. Even if Allah would put someone to test by causing blindness to one of his eyes, leaving the other eye for him to see with, he would be able to see the full moon occurring ahead of its time. As for those whose eyesight ikiri is three out of six, the moon shall be brought nearer by the command of Allah. Then is this magic, or do you not see? Chapter 52 verses 15 You shall also see planet Saqar, which skirmishes with the earth from a place far off from the earth at the beginning of the skirmish event. But in its appointed time, it does not come to you passing on the earth except suddenly and because it has already approached the sun, fury and roaring sounds are exchanged between them and they are from bad to worse. And the sun's furnace has burst, so wait for the pouring floods for a matter already predestined. Also wait for pieces of mountains of clouds loaded with hail in line with the word of Allah the Exalted. Do you not see that Allah gently drives the clouds, then joins them together, piling them up into masses from which you see raindrops come forth? And he sends down from the sky mountains of clouds loaded with hail, pouring it on whomever he wills, and averting it from whoever he wills. The flash of the clouds lightening nearly takes away eyesight. Chapter 24 Verses 43 And they take away whatever Allah pleases of your electrical lights and wait for the earthquakes that shall expel whoever Allah wills out of their homes running away from the high raised roofs so that they do not fall on their heads, in line with the word of Allah the Exalted. Their example is that of someone who kindles a fire. But when it lights up all around them, Allah takes away their light, leaving them in complete darkness, unable to see. They are willfully deaf, dumb, and blind. So they will never return to the right path. Or those caught in a rainstorm from the sky with darkness, thunder, and lightning. They press their fingers into their ears at the sound of every thunder clap for the fear of death. And Allah encompasses the disbelievers by His might. 
The lightning almost snatches away their sight. Every time it lights the way for them, they walk therein. But when darkness comes over them, they stand still. And if Allah had willed, He could have taken away their hearing and their sight. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. O mankind, worship your Lord, who created you and those before you, that you may become righteous. He who made for you the earth a bed spread out, and the sky a ceiling, and sent down from the sky rain and brought forth thereby fruits as provision for you. So do not attribute to Allah equals, while ye know that there is nothing similar to Him. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant, then produce a surah, the like thereof, and call upon your witnesses other than Allah, if you should be truthful. But if you do not, and you will never be able to, then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. Chapter 2, verses 17 and 24. Then they scatter into fatal shrapnels, and he strikes with them whoever he wills, and averts them from whom he wills. Also Allah declares upon you the war of thunderbolts, in line with the word of Allah the exalted. And the thunder exalts Allah with praise of him, and the angels as well from fear of him. And he sends thunderbolts and strikes there with whom he wills, while they dispute about Allah, and he is severe in assault. Chapter 13, verses 13 And wait for thunderbolts and mountains of clouds loaded with hail, until you believe that Allah your Lord is the most merciful of all. O Muslims and people altogether, you have indeed wronged yourselves by not believing the Caliph of Allah al-Mahdi Nasir Muhammad and what he is calling you for. Have I called you for 16 years except to the path of Allah alone so that he forgives your sins? And they have taught you that if you did not know with knowledge of certainty that Allah is truly the most merciful of all, you would not know the greatness of the mercy of Allah within. Hence you will never ever know the truth in the present life or the hereafter, on the day when mankind will stand before the Lord of the words. In line with the word of Allah the exalted, but whoever is blind to the truth in this world will be blind in the hereafter, and even far more astray from the right way. Chapter 17 verses 72 We are most knowing of what they say, and you are not over them a tyrant. But remind by the Qur'an whoever fears my threat. Chapter 50 verses 45 These are the verses of Allah which we recite to you in truth. Then in what statement after Allah and his verses will they believe? Woe to every sinful liar who hears the verses of Allah recited to him, then persists arrogantly as if he had not heard them. So give him tidings of a painful punishment. And when he knows anything of our verses, he takes them in ridicule, those who will have a humiliating punishment. Before them is hell, and what they had earned will not avail them at all, nor what they had taken besides Allah as a lies. And they will have a great punishment. This Quran is guidance. And those who have disbelieved in the verses of their Lord will have a painful punishment of foul nature. Chapter 45, verses 6 to 11 May the curse of Allah be upon the liars who knowingly deny that the sun has caught up with the moon, and the sign of Idraq was not but a warning, initially, and a good warning for whoever wills among mankind to go forward or stay behind. But they have refused and acted arrogantly and insisted on being among those who are staying behind and those who are arrogant towards the verses of truth from their Lord. And those who deny the presence of Allah as if he was not a thing even mentioned. And whoever believes them among Muslims, he will be among those who deny the presence of the Lord of the words. 
As to how do they claim that they are going to control the pouring floods and the tsunami hurricanes and the climate war in general along with the war of corona, that they turn people away from knowing its reality by lying and saying that these are just normal mutations, while they know they do not have encompassing knowledge about it, and they know that they are liars. Indeed, Allah is swifter in planning, in line with the word of Allah the Exalted. And when we give the people a taste of mercy after adversity has touched them, at once they conspire against our verses. Say Allah is swifter in strategy. Indeed, our messengers record that which ye conspire. Chapter 10 verses 21 So forgive me, I cannot give you good tidings. O you who turn away from following the great Quran, whether the atheists, disbelievers, or polytheists, and Muslims who claim that they believe in the great Quran, but they act arrogantly towards the judgment of Allah between them in what they differed about, while they take the judgment from al tahut the United Nations. Indeed, the example of the fighting Muslim parties is equal to that of the atheists and those who disbelieve in the Lord of the words. And what I want to end this statement of mine with is the tiring from Allah to those who are arrogant towards believing the signs of Allah and his caliph al-Mahdi Nasir Muhammad in line with the word of Allah the exalted so I swear by the twilight redness, and by the night and who gathered to witness, and by the moon when it becomes full, that you will surely ride a planetary state from a planetary state. So what is it with them that they do not believe? And when the Quran is recited to them, they do not prostrate. But those who disbelieved belie, and Allah is most knowing of what they understand. So give them tidings of a painful punishment except for those who believe and do righteous deeds. For them is a reward uninterrupted. Surah 84, verses 16 to 24 Praise be upon the messengers, and praise be to Allah, the Lord of the words, the Imam Mahdi, Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani.